Hey y'all, today I thought I would recreate my pretty Anki card video just because I didn't really like the last one and I got some valid criticisms on it so I thought I'd just redo it and actually come with some files this time. I know, big stuff. So in the description bar, you're gonna see a link. It's a link to this Mediafire page and this is just a zip file that holds some fonts and a seed deck, a, a deck essentially that's gonna plant the card type, the note type into your Anki system. And you just wanna download it. And once it's done, you can just unpack it. And when you click on the folder, you're just gonna see the seed deck and the fonts. This is U Gothic Bold, uh, U Min Cho. And then the most important one probably is the Kanji Stroke Order. And before you press on this C deck, you just want to go into Collections Media. I don't know where it is on PC, but for Mac, it's just Collection Media. This is where Anki saves all your files. So if you have a deck that has pictures or sound bites, all of it is just like thrown in here. Uh, and this is just a random new Anki setup, so nothing's in here and you wanna copy over these files and put them in here. If you don't do this, Anki won't know what these fonts are that are written into the code of the deck. They're gonna be like, I don't, what are these? I don't know what you're talking about. And so you won't have the proper fonts. So you need it in the media folder so it knows what the hell you're talking about. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and press on that starter deck and it's gonna import, click okay, hit browse, and then this note type is right here. And you are free to just add on to this. A lot of people say, you know, it's best to create your own cards, so you can just add on to this, or you can just as well, like, download another deck and then change the note type. This is what the card looks like. That's why I like them so much. This is the front, this is the back, and here you're gonna see, you know, the number of the kanji, the lesson it was in, obviously the keyword that's right here. And then these are the three variants. This is the uh, Yu Min Cho, this is Yu Gothic Bold, and this is the important one, the kanji stroke order. And then right here is gonna be the stories. You can also have some notes. There's a lot of times where I use some notes. Right there you could actually put a what's it called, the the Yomis. Yeah, you could put the Yomis right there if you wanted to. But same sort of deal. And this is what it looks like internally. So this is the front template. This is the back. And this is the styling. This is where you see uh, the sources uh, leading to that media folder. If there's any like coders out there noticing some stupidity in here, don't get on me because that's not my jam. I've just been with Anki for like two years, so I just have what works for me. And like I said, really all this gives you a deck, but you could just as easily delete it. Um, the important part is with this is that now you have the note types. So if you hit, you know, if you go over to tools, manage note type, it's going to be right here. And you can edit this all you want. You can edit the name of the fields, right? So that's it. Pretty simple affair. Like I said, all the stuff is going to be down in the description. And ideally, this is a bit more helpful than the last video. If you have any questions, I'll totally answer them if I can in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Bye.